Welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and we're talking about a new Capenna Commander here today, and I just love everything about this card. We're still in spoiler season, obviously, and there's a Commander that I saw that came out, and I'm just like, man, I love everything that's going on here. This is super interesting. This is the kind of stuff that I love to see, the stuff that isn't super obvious, and you sort of got to think how you're going to build around it. Uh, you know, we don't get commanders like that much anymore because the commanders that you get, as we've already seen from this set, sort of seem kind of obvious which direction you want to go. You know, your your strategy is all mapped out for you. This one I saw, and I just had to talk about it right away. It is Errant Street Artist. One blue mana, Human Rogue 03, Flash, Defender, Haste. Pay one and a blue and tap, copy target spell. You control that wasn't cast. You may choose new targets for the copy. I love everything that is happening with this card. First of all, it's a one mana commander, which we don't have very many, although there's only a few. It is a flash, which of course I really like on a commander. It has defender, which is really bizarre why they put defender on here. It really doesn't affect anything, I don't think. Um, you're not, obviously not going to attack with your commander ever, so... Maybe there's a flavor reason why the Defender. It also has haste, right? And I know from my own personal research that having haste on a blue creature is incredibly rare, right? A mono blue creature. In fact, there's only one creature in the history of the game, other than this one now, that is a blue creature with haste, and that is Bonded Fetch. Bonded Fetch is the only creature for the longest time, mono blue creature that had haste on it, you know, other than things that give haste and all that, an actual mono blue creature that has the word haste on it, Bonded Fetch was the only one, and of course it was from Future Sight, which did a lot of weird sort of combinations and crossovers, so that's not a big surprise. Aaron Street Artist now is the only the second creature that has haste on it, so that's actually a very unique thing about it. But this ability, I mean, this ability is just incredible, and how do you use it, right? That's what I like about this. When you first see this ability, oh, you're like, oh, man, that's pretty good. And then you're like, oh, wait, how do I use it, right? So you're going to copy target spell you control. Obviously, it's got to be a spell you control. That's important. But it wasn't cast. Okay, well, how do you do that, right? And honestly, you could probably do a lot of research here, and I just might do this. This might be a commander that I tackle on my channel and make a deck tech for because I actually want to figure out, okay, what are all the ways that you can have a spell that you're going to copy? You have to control it, but you can't cast it. Of course, the first and I think most obvious, I don't know if it's the only way, but for sure, the best way to do this is to copy spells that are already being copied, right? So for example, if you have a storm card, when you storm, you're casting the original copy, right? So the original copy is being cast and then you're copying it a whole bunch of times or one time, however many times you're copying it. So the copies are a spell that you're not, ca you obviously didn't cast the copies. The copies are just put directly on the stack. So that's what you want to go for here. You want to find things that will put the, a spell directly on the stack without you actually having to cast it, right? So, I mean, a lot of people will probably look at this ability and think, oh, well, if I cast something for free, maybe I can copy it. No, no. Even if you cast something for free, you're still casting it. So you can't copy it. Has to be, you have to find some way to put a spell on the stack without actually casting it. Copying is the one that, for me, comes to mind. Again, you'd have to do a lot of research here. I'm just really hoping there's more. You know, I'm going to dive into the research, and if I can find, like, if, if this is just a I'm going to copy copy spells, you know, Storm Commander, yeah, that's a little less exciting. Still really interesting, though. Like, this commander is incredibly interesting no matter what direction you go. It would be really nice, and I, I think depending on how much stuff I can, some interesting stuff I can in find with this commander and the interactions that you can use, I, I think I'll definitely make a deck tech with it on my channel. Throw some suggestions below. If you have some suggestions on how to use this, and I'm sure there's a lot of ideas already been floating around, feel free to throw them down there, and I will try to add that into my deck. But I just had to talk about this card because I just love everything that's going on here. It's just a very interesting, unique commander. Like I said, I love the one mana. I love the flash. I love that it's got haste. There's just so many interesting things going on here. It's, it's really, really fantastic, and I think it's going to make a really interesting build around. And I don't think it's going to be popular at all because it is very fringe unless there is some weird combo 
I mean, I guess there might be some combo potential here, possibly. So maybe, the, like, this is one of those commanders that you look at and you go like, how are you going to use that? But then at the same time, someone might figure out whatever combo or some broken thing you can do with it that'll end up making it actually very popular indeed. So it's hard to say. I think it's very fringe, but there might be something I'm missing. Let's do the research and let's find out how we can use this very interesting commander. Like I said, I love everything that's going on on this card. So I just had to make a video about it. But that is it for today. And thanks for tuning in.